Okay, everybody, here we go then. Okay, jumping into the Porsche configurator. Um, let's go through some of the key changes on this model. Um, now, I, I've chosen, I've already gone through and spec'd the ultimate car for me, um, and it's changed the list price from £108,000 to £143,000. Um, but I've got on there everything I want, um, and I've gone with the guard's red colour. Um, but just to take you through some of the things on the car in a bit more detail that they've added for this particular model. Okay, so NACA air intakes. Um, these are brand new for the model and they help break cooling, apparently. Um, also got the uh, the Wysak pack on this, which includes this um, carbon weave bonnet and a few other bits and pieces around the car, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, the wing louvers um, also help wheel arch ventilation. Um, they look really cool. They're a sort of a throwback to the, the 991 GT3 RS. Um, they look really cool. Um, the Swan Neck rear spoiler looks very very nice indeed um, helps increase downforce I'm sure uh, and now one thing it doesn't show you on the configurator is the um, the visible um, engine airbox so here's a picture for you which I've taken um, that shows you it looks really good it was a, a criticism I think I've had of the Cayman for a while is that you can't see the engine so I think the fact they've allowed some visibility uh, is a great thing. Um, however, it would be good if we could see more Porsche because it's the perfect car, really. Um, okay, and then one of the next things, air intakes instead of rear window, uh, rear, rear windows. So here we go. There you go. You can see them here. Here. And on the side and I'll add a picture, uh, a close-up picture of them here so you can see them, but they look really cool. And they um, supposedly um, supply the engine with air and also make the cockpit much more atmospheric uh, when you're driving this car. So that's gonna be really interesting to see and and hear. And hopefully when these come into the showrooms, I'll be able to get a, get a sound test of this car inside and outside and let you know whether it's worked or not. Um, I've on this I've gone for the uh, the magnesium wheels um, now you, you, you can't really change the colors too much on the magnesium wheels um, but they save 10 kilos um, which is very similar to the wheels that I, that I talked about in one of my other videos with the um, 987 Spider and 987 Cayman R they also use um, magnesium wheels I believe and were the lightest wheels that Porsche made. So I think, yeah, I think if you've got the money, then you would definitely go for those. Um, you know, they help bring the car down to close to sort of 1,400 kilos. Um, and then the tailpipes um, at the rear. Oh, tailpipes at the rear. If we can get a picture of them. Are made of titanium. The tips are made from titanium. And they... Uh, it produces a nice sound and um, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to get one of those, a sound into the video. Right, you. Um, okay. The, hey hi, boy, you're gonna come and join our video, are you? Hey, you gonna come and join? As always, he always steps on the keyboard. Come on in, there you go, go on in, see a little bit. Go in, boy. Come on, sit a little bit. Come on, boy. Come on. Good boy. There we go. He's gone, so he won't interrupt anymore. But he's a lovable, lovable boy. Um, okay. And where was I? Okay, so lightweight construction. Now they've done quite a lot of work on this car. So, so a lot of the um, panels are made from carbon fiber reinforced plastic. Um, the bonnet, the front wings, 
side air intakes, the rear wing, and decorative trims. So these pieces and a few other pieces, and the bucket seats. So they are all the lightweight um, savings that Porsche have done for this car. Um, the rear screen is made from lightweight glass. Um, and I did stumble across some quite interesting facts that you might be keen to know about. The, the brakes, the standard brakes on this Cayman GT4 RS, the fronts are 408 millimeters and the backs are 380. Now on the GT4, the normal model, the brakes are 380 mil all, way, all the way around. Um, so this one has slightly larger front brakes. However, if you do go for the carbon brakes, um, they are slightly bigger. So the fronts are 410 millimeters and the rears are 390. And apparently these are 50% lighter than your regular cast iron brake discs. So definitely worth having if you combine those with the magnesium wheels, you know, there's quite a decent saving to be had. And one thing I haven't spec'd on this, but you can spec is the Club Sport package, um, which basically adds a roll cage. And there's a choice on here, so you can have a titanium roll cage if you like. Uh, and it comes with the uh, four point seat belt harness, um, fire extinguisher, and a couple of other bits. Um, and then if you really wanted to, you can add a watch um, to your sort of specification to match the car. So, and they, it comes in at around between 9,000 and 10,000, depending on whether you go for the, the normal spec or the Wysik package watch. So that's a nice little touch, you know, why not? I think if you're gonna, if you're gonna have this much money spent on a car, then you should probably go for it. Um, now I should point out as well that um, I think it's gonna be quite difficult to get one of these cars. One of my friends has tried to put an order in for one and he was told that his particular dealer only had one allocation for 2022. So you're gonna be a lucky boy if you get one of these, but it's gonna be difficult um, and I would, also say that if you do want one of these next year it's going to be similar to the gt3 you're probably going to be paying close to two hundred thousand um, pounds i had a quick look at the specifications yesterday um, now if i was a spec a 911 gt3 today it would come in at just under one hundred and fifty six thousand uh, pounds and i know that they're selling second hand at the moment for about two hundred and twenty thousand pounds so take into account that my specification on this video costs £144,000. I think it's going to be fair to say that it's going to be, you know, around £200,000 if I wanted to buy this car next year in the second-hand market. So there we go. Um, interesting uh, facts for you. Now I'm just going to jump in and show you um, some of the uh, different colours. So if we go back up to the top here, um, okay, now the special colors cost an extra 2,273 pounds. Um, we've got shark blue, arctic gray. Now let me show you the first one. Shark blue, arctic gray, gentian blue metallic. Oh, that does look good, very, very good. GT Silver Metallic, Carrera White Metallic, Racing Yellow, Guards Red, and Black. It's a shame Porsche didn't, um, didn't actually make the black color something a bit more special. Um, you know, it could have been called something else, you know, black something, like like racing yellow. And it's the same with the white, they just call it white. So, come on, Porsche. And it's interesting, since since I was looking at the colours on my iPad, um, now I've gone to my nice 5K resolution monitor and it's much bigger, I'm actually changing my mind about the colours. Because I think you don't get, when you look at um, the Porsche configurator on a proper monitor, with high resolution, the, you really get a feel for the different colors and the way the car looks. So it might be worth going into your Porsche dealership. And if you do want to spec one of these cars, do it on a big screen 
with really good resolution because you really do get a different perspective of the car. And the, the colours that really stand out for me, now I was going to go for the Guards Red, but having seen this on my screen, the Gentian Blue looks incredible. The GT Silver looks incredible. I really like the racing yellow. And the black looks really good. Oh, it's a, it's a really difficult choice. Um, you can see how good that looks. GT Silver. Oh, sorry. That's, this is GT Silver. Come on. No, how good does that look? Oh, it does look nice. And then Gentian Metallic Blue. Oh, that looks really good. Hmm. Very, very hard decision. Let me know what you think in the comments. You're going to be spending £145,000. You want to get the colour right. Uh, and looking at the colours through a high-end monitor and a computer is the way to go. I tell you, it looks really, really... You can really tell the difference in the colours. Anyway, for the sake of this video, because of what I expected earlier, we'll, we'll keep the guards red, but I have to say I, I might be ch changing my mind. Um, okay, so wheels. Now I've gone for the lightweight, lightweight GT4 RS forged magnesium wheels, 10 kilogram weight saving. So definitely got to have that. Um, I haven't chosen any of the wheel accessories. They're not really for me. Um, now I've chosen the Racetex interior. Uh, in uh, Arctic Grey. Um, so there we go. So that's what that looks like. And then from a different angle. Got these nice seat inserts here. Okay, that's the seats. And then digging into the equipment. Now I've gone for the Wyzek package without the roll cage. You know, I just think if you, if you crash one of these things, it's going to be thousands of pounds anyway i'm not sure the roll cage is you know it's going to protect you but it's not going to do much for the car really you're going to be repairing the whole car so i don't want the roll cage and you can you can um spec it with a titanium roll cage as well which will be lighter but anyway adding a roll cage is going to add weight so no not for me um on the exterior side of things i've added the carbon trims um you can just about make them out. They're these pieces here. Um, and I've gone for indigo blue accents on the side. Um, and I've gone for the rear logo, the Porsche in silver color high gloss, just to give it a bit more of a, a push. And I like that, I think it looks really good. Uh, Drivetrain, you only get PDK as an option. So it's PDK. I've gone for the Chrono package, um, I'll show you that inside. I've gone for the Chrono package and preparation for a lap trigger. So there's the Chrono package stop clock. Front axle lift system, Porsche ceramic brakes, and I've changed the brake calipers uh, to black high gloss. Just a personal preference, really. Um, so there we go. Lighting and vision, I've gone for the LED headlights um, with the dynamic light system that moves when you go around corners and things, they look really good. The internal light design package um, adds a few other features, additional LED dimmable ambient lighting on the overhead console for the door handles in the door storage compartments in the footwells and illumination of the vanity mirror in the sun visors perfect for my wife okay 
comfort and assistance systems. I've added the reversing camera for the rear. Um, it's not easy to see out of these things, so you're definitely going to need some assistance, um, especially as they've taken away the rear windows now and you've got these, um, these air intakes. So there's going to be less light coming into the cabin, um, so you're definitely going to need that. Speed limit indicator, something that does 190 miles per hour, you're definitely going to need that. Cruise control, why not? And if you've got a garage, which I assume you probably would have if you can afford one of these cars, um, you might as well get it programmed to open your garage door. Um, interiors, I've added the smoking package um, just to show you what that does. Okay, so the smoking package puts a nice little cover here. And if you take it off, you're left with an open piece here, which is not, not an issue, but it just looks better. And adds um, ashtray and cigarette lighter in place of the uncovered storage compartments. So there you go, just shows you there, 38 grid. I think it's worth it. Um, now I've, I've opted to have my Let's see if it takes it takes you into it. So here we go. Add to selection. So so it's nice. It gives you the key car the car key in the matching color of your car, and then you can choose the color of the stitching, um, which I would go for red at the moment because that's the spec I've chosen. Chosen. Save that down. There we go. You can actually change that to Alcantara if you wish. Um, I've chosen instrument dials in red. Just to show you that. Looks quite nice, seen it on a number of cars. Um, it also looks great if you leave these normal, to be honest with you, but it does tie it in quite well. And again, I've matched that. And I've also matched the door pulls uh, to match everything from the outside color. Um, now, I don't think there's anything I've selected here, no. Interior race text, no. Interior carbon, no. Now I have selected the Bose surround sound system because most Porsches do have that as a minimum. Now, interesting enough, you can't spec the Burmeister system on this model. So maybe it's a weight issue, I'm not sure. But just to see what happens, if I delete that, Let's see. There we go. It doesn't look very good, does it? Leaves you with a big hole here. Um, and what Porsche or the configurator doesn't tell you is whether or not there's going to be some blanking plate that goes here. So, yeah, some more clarity on that Porsche would be good. Um, and also what I'd love to see is a, a live... Um, weight limit of the specification so as you change thing on the specification on the configurator it tells you the updated weight of the car so you know i would like to know by me deleting the audio and communication system does that take me below the 1400 kilo mark for the car if it does well, i might go for it um, but it doesn't tell you that um, let's take that away and i would think i would go for bose although i'm sure this car is going to be so noisy you're probably not going to have the um the bose sound system on much um however it's probably best to tick it um wheels and accessories now i've chosen to go for the decorative valve sleeves in silver to make them stand out now unfortunately the configurator doesn't really show you those in more detail so you'll have to take my word for it that they will look good um interior options floor mats there you go you can get your key pouch and a cantara with black stitching um, be good if you could change the color of the stitching you might be able to let's see no it doesn't give you the option to um, transport and protection there we go a few things for you not really interested to me don't need cables and there we go a whole load of Porsche accessories that you can have and then at the bottom, as I mentioned earlier, you can design two of your watches um, with a slightly different price tag. Um, 
And there we go. That is the Cayman GT4 RS. And what a splendid vehicle it is. The price of my options are £34,000. Um, and the total price has come to 142434 But as I said, having moved away from the iPad and gone to the monitor, I would probably choose a different colour. Um, I would be leaning towards either the Gentian blue metallic the metallic silver GT silver or the black which looks really good Do you know I think I would probably go for the black yeah let me know what you think in the comments anyway that is the the new uh, Cayman GT4 RS um, I don't suppose there's going to be any of these in the showrooms until April time next year. But when they do, I'll try and get some footage for you. So please come back and check the channel. And uh, also I do post things on uh, Twitter, um, Facebook and Instagram. Not that often, but I do occasionally if I go out and see a nice car. So check those platforms and there's links to those platforms on my YouTube channel. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video and there'll be more content like this coming soon.